Hello there everybody and welcome back to another Turn Cycling YouTube video. If you are new to the channel then please if you like what you see hit that subscribe button and you can help me get to 1000 subscribers before I start the race around Rwanda which is in 24 days. Man that's close. A bit frightening because I'm nowhere near ready. Anyway, if I hit 1,000 subscribers before Rwanda, then I'll be able to do YouTube live coverage from around the race course, both before, during, and after, and you can see what it's gonna be like doing that race in Africa. If you've seen any of the Turn Cycling Facebook coverage, you will know exactly what to expect. Anyway, today I want to talk a little bit more about the Tailfin Aero Pack. I did a review on this a couple of weeks ago and it was really popular on YouTube. Loads of views already, which is amazing. So thank you everybody for watching. Uh, first of all, something just to clear up on that because a few people asked me this question. They said, am I sponsored by Tailfin? Was I provided the Aero Pack for free? And categorically, no, I'm not a Tailfin sponsored rider. I bought the pack through their website for the full retail price out of my own money really so that I could give you all a real unbiased view of what I thought of the Aero Pack. So yeah, there we go, hopefully that's cleared up. So since posting that video, Nick from Tailfin has got in touch and he really liked the video, thought it was a great insight into the product and asked me if I had any comments or feedback. Now, what he also said was he's been working on some light mount prototypes and if you sent one through, would I be prepared to have a look at it, see what I think, and you know, give a bit of feedback on that and let him know how it was basically. So I said, yeah, why not? And that's what we're gonna go through today. So yeah, full disclosure, Aeropack, that's mine. I bought that with my own money. The adapter for a light, which I'll get into in a minute because it's really cool, has been provided by Tailfin. So full disclosure, done. Should we have a look at it then? Um, and I'm rushing this through. I'll, I was gonna do this video tomorrow because I'm pretty tired after a long ride today, but Edmund, this is for you. You've been harassing me on Instagram saying, what's it like, what's it like, what's it like? So now we're gonna take it out of its bag. We're gonna fit it to my Aeropack and put a light on. And then you can see exactly what it's like, Edmund. So uh, let's have a look, shall we? That's the Aeropack, don't need that just yet. Okay, so when Nick said he was working on some light adapters. I wasn't really sure what to expect. And I have to say what's been sent through. So he's doing two types of adapters. One which kind of replicates a seat post diameter tube. So you can put a standard light that fits on a seat tube to it, seat post. The other one that he sent through is really, it's kind of like a pannier rack adapter. So what it does is it just creates a standard pannier mount bracket that then attaches to the aero pack. So two little holes here, I'm gonna unbolt the screws that attach the bag to the frame and then put this in, bolt it back in place. And then I've got a mount point for a standard pannier mounted light. Now, I think that's a really good idea because I've done a lot of touring before and what I love about my pannier mounts is I've got a cat eye rear light that runs on double AA batteries, no, triple AA batteries, two triple AA batteries, and it lasts forever. You don't need to worry about recharging it. They, I, the, I picked one up from Evans when I, uh, when I was last in there, just for this, and it's up to, I think, 120 hours run time on flashing mode, 90 hours on economy mode, and 60 hours on full continuous mode. Now, 60 hours, that's more than, enough to get me through a short race like a two three even four day race without needing to change the batteries or even worry about my real light which is which is really really good so we're going to test this out again in rwanda see how it works see if i can get all the way through without needing to change the batteries but even if you do need to change the batteries you can find those anywhere so yeah i'm really pleased with that i think that's a that's a neat and simple solution to the problem so let's get this fitted first of all I'm gonna need my Allen keys. What have I done with them? Right, found my tools, got my bag, got the adapter. Let's see how easy this is to fit, shall we? Right, 
Right, one off. Just two. Okay. Boom, done. That was easy. Uh, will that thread through? Yeah, there we go. That can thread through there. Done. Here we have one Katai Omni 5 battery powered, normal battery powered light, rear light. Yeah, rapid 120, flashing 90 or constant 60 hours, which is pretty good. And what you do have to buy extra is the rear rack mount that doesn't come with it you have to buy that as an extra but it was like three pounds so not expensive so first of all i need to fit this okay so i'll take this out as well before i start screwing it together so i can see that it is all going to work that'd be a disaster wouldn't it strapping it on the wrong way oh look it even comes with batteries how handy Got some boxes to throw away again. So, <clears throat> the light slots in either like that. Well, no, it slots in like that. There we go. Done. Nice and rigid. Well, if it goes that way, I think that, might, that little tab might get caught on the strap. So if I put it that way, now one of the good things about this was you can just lay it down. When I was trying my other lights on here, they would just catch when I was laying it down because I was strapping them around here or around here. So you can just lay it down like that. This one, you can, which is good. Even if I strap this on that way, I can still just lay it down. So we're gonna put it on that way. Screwdriver. There we go. Okay, done. Super solid. Now all that's left to do is batteries in here. How do I get into this thing? There we go. Two. Clipped on. There we go. So in terms of the different lighting, I'm gonna put my, I threw that away, didn't I? That'll teach me to throw things away, won't it? So, um, right, that's continuous, obviously. That is flashing. No, that's rapid. So that's the one that's gonna last 120 hours. Now that's great because that's what I'd have running during the day, because it's just about attracting attention. Standard flashing light, and then back to continuous. And even on continuous, it's gonna last 60 hours. So, pretty awesome. Um, yeah, pleased with that. It's a very simple solution to the problem and it allows me to use battery powered lights. So yeah, not really much more you can say except it looks good. Obviously, if I have any issues, I will report back. Um, but yeah, if you've got the tail fin error pack, um, this is a good way of fixing a rear light that's not gonna get in the way. Um, right, cheers everybody. Catch you later.